Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, my name is Kathleen, and I am a dyer and owner behind Good Me and Monco. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun if uh, you hung out with me a little bit today while I dyed some yarn. Um, this could be a complete disaster, to be honest. Uh, the live itself could be a disaster, but you never know. Um, but the thing is, is I've had this color in my head, like, like I want to make this color. And so I have been trying all week to get the, you know, to try to play with it and to try to get it figured out. And I'm not quite there yet. So today is just going to be kind of an experimenting day to see whether or not this thing in my head is even going to work. So we'll see. Um, I am getting ready to launch the Good Middle Yarn Club, which I'm so, so super excited about. But one of the things I would like to do is for anybody who signs up in that first day, which um, you will find out when that day is, um, I'd like to give them a, a special uh, yarn that I've dyed specifically just for this for this club and just for this day. So now, normally when I dye, my style is kind of uh, like if I'm going to make something that's in the blues, then I'm going to do different colors of blues and maybe go a little bit of yellow or a little bit of green, you know, kind of in that same world, nothing too heavily contrasted and, you know, all over the place. But that's what I want to do for, for this one. Um, so I'm trying to do a, a light, kind of a light teal color, kind of my... Um, like, I don't know if y'all have ordered anything from me, the color of the mailing bags that I have. And then have just little bits of kind of speckly rainbow on it. So we'll see. I'm not really sure how the rainbow colors are going to do on top of the teal color. I think it might end up kind of muddying them up and it might just look awful and then I'll just have to rethink it. But, you know, it could be pretty cool. Um, this is how I started on this journey this week. So I have, uh, what I do is I dye lots of uh, like semi-solid colors so that I can kind of have a baseline as to you know, what it is that I, I feel like I might want to do for a particular colorway. So I've got dang near a hundred of these things. And so I looked through all of them and was trying to find the color that I thought I wanted. And of course I couldn't. So what I have is I have a, I have like a, a green color and then I had like a blue color and neither of them were quite right. So I've been doing different uh, combinations of these blues and greens all week. And I think that I have finally got, got that subtle. So at least there's that. So as you can see in this, uh, in this pan over here, I have four different colors. It's actually the same color. It's the same combination of these of the blues and greens, but one of them is a very pale version of it. One of them is a darker version of it, and the other two are kind of right in the middle. So I have the four different colors, and I have that in a sock weight, and then I also have the same four colors and a DK weight because those are the two uh, the two yarn weights that I that I dye on and that I'm going to be using for the yarn club. So that is what I'm going to be doing today. So the plan is I have two uh, groups of rainbow colors that I think that I would like to try on these to see how they would work. And uh, so I'm going to do one set of rainbow on all of the sock color to see how it reacts with the different, you know, the different tones of the teal, et cetera, et cetera. And then I have a different set of rainbow, which I'm going to be doing. So we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my gloves on, get my mask on. Now when I have the, I'm using um, dye powders, which I don't normally do. Uh, again, it's not kind of my, my style of the way that I do things. But like I said, for this, it's kind of, kind of what I want. 
So um, I need to wear the mask when I'm uh, dealing with the dye powders because you don't want to inhale any of that and all of that nonsense. So when I actually have the mask on, my voice is going to be a little muffled. You might not be able to hear me, but I'll take it off in between and, you know, come back over and chat or whatever. And, and then we'll see, see how it goes. So I am going to... Who said we can't do technology? Okay, the first color that I'm going to do is a kind of a bright yellow color. And I don't honestly think the yellow is going to work at all, but um, so it tends to kind of spread out really quickly. But we'll see. Turn that down a little bit. So I'm gonna let that steam for just a minute to just kind of kind of set for a little bit. I've got this uh, yarn right here that I'm gonna be wiping my gloves on so that I don't have to use new gloves every time. And then actually. You can come up with some pretty cool looking yarn that way. So it's just kind of really random and whatever. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do the, the warmer colors first. And then the cooler colors. All right, that's done, we're done. Okay, that was kind of a, like an orangey kind of a color. Since I'm just playing now, I'm not going to stress out about 
too much about how, you know, I like to do things ordinarily. I usually would let each of these colors set for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, something like that, before I put the other one on top, just to try and uh, try to keep it from, you know, all mixing together and getting too muddy looking. But you know what, it is what it is. I'm really just trying to trying to see how this works and how these colors work. And then after I get the colors figured out, then I'll figure out the technique. It's kind of the way I do things. All right, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a red. This was kind of a kind of a real pretty dark red color. It's kind of hard to tell when you're actually when you're dying, like looking at the powder color and looking how it is when it lands on the yarn. It doesn't always end up that way. So We'll see. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and do green next. Yeah, so as I'm doing this, I'm realizing that I probably am not going to use any actual green. This green is beautiful, though. It's one of my favorite greens. But I'm probably not going to use that on this colorway since I already have enough blue and green kind of in the, in the base color. So it's probably going to do the same thing for the blue, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. It was like a, it's a blue, but kind of a little on the purple side of blue.
All right, that is a, ooh, isn't that pretty? That purple color. Like I said, I don't play with the dry dyes too often. I usually mix them up in water and then uh, you know, pour them on as a liquid, but the, the powders are very vibrant, very pretty. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit for a couple of minutes. And, and then I'm gonna flip it over and get kind of a, a new area that doesn't have a whole lot of powders on it. And then I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it again with out the green and probably without the blue. I don't know, we'll see. I'll let it hang out for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready the DK version of both of these so that I'm after I'm done with this I can switch it over now because I'm using the powders and I want them to kind of stay in one place I don't really want them to you know move around and spread out I'm using just a tiny little bit of water in the bottom of this pan just so that it'll steam but not like, you know, get up and get all up in the dye's business and make it look like I don't want it to look. Okay. All right, let's see how this is looking. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Let's see if I can find a an area that doesn't have a whole lot of the speckles on it already. Love this really light aqua color. I think once it dries, it's going to end up being too light for what I'm looking for, but it may show up in another way at another time. Okay. I'm going to use just the orange, the red, and the purple. By the time the yellow is mixing with these colors, it's kind of looking a little greeny anyway, which I'm not really a fan of. So we'll try the orange.
So I think I can tell right away that the, the darkest color teal is not going to work. It's just too dark and the colors aren't showing up well on it. Although the lighter color I really like and the colors show up really well on it, I think it's probably gonna be too light. So I think that our, this pan right here with the two medium toned colors are probably what we're gonna end up with. But like I said, you never know until it dries. So since I'm just using three of the colors, I'm gonna go in a little bit heavier with them than I did on the first round. All right, I'm gonna put this purple on and then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna show you something else over on the other camera. While I let the other colors pick up a little bit. All right, I'm going to set these over on my actual stove top. I'm going to let them steam probably for about 45 minutes or so. Maybe even an hour. Especially with these vibrant colors, I wanna make sure that they're all set very well. I don't want anybody to run into any problems when they're washing them. So I'm going to let you in a little bit onto the hot mess that is my mind this week. I have probably, I don't know if I had to guess, maybe 50 different powdered dyes. Uh, I don't use all of them all the time. I usually do just a 
a couple different colors and then I'm mixing the colors together and making my own colors and it just kind of depends on what colorways I'm dying at the time. And like I said, I didn't really, hadn't really used them as powder before, so I wanted to kind of see how they looked. So I was like, oh, well, I can just put this uh, yarn in a big circle and put the dyes on in a particular order. I have an alphabetical order, you know why. And I was like, I should be able to figure it out once it's dry, like what color is what? No, I could not, could not tell at all. Because I kind of all, they kind of all mixed together and there's little splotches of them, but it's like really just about impossible to figure out what, what is what, so. So I just did, took an educated guess and picked two of each color that I was gonna try for this particular experiment. So it could be that it doesn't work at all. But I think it's actually kind of pretty to get the colors down. So I did all of the blues. I did uh, blacks and browns. I did all the greens and yellows and some of the yellow is kind of browny looking. This is the purples, which some of the purples are a little bit on the pinky and magenta side. Here are the oranges, which although I'm not normally a color I gravitate towards, I think it's really pretty. Then here are the reds. And again, you can see some of the deeper color reds, and then some of them aren't just, you know, bottle pink, which is also pretty. So, that's where I am with that. Okay, let me see what we're doing over here. All right, I think we're hot enough that we can go ahead and start on the second, uh, on the second rainbow colors to see, to see how that's gonna work. Um, obviously after I'm finished putting these on, they're gonna have to set for about 45 minutes to an hour and then I let them cool off for the rest of the day. I find that my colors kind of, they set better that way and they end up working better. But I don't actually want to use them with them, which is kind of the whole point as far as I see. Um, so it's gonna take a while. So I'm going to, uh, show you the rest of the rainbow colors I put on and then I'm going to let them set and cool down and I'll rinse them off later tonight and let them dry overnight and uh, since it hasn't been repeated at all I think it should dry overnight just fine and then I will pop on in the morning or uh, post on my Facebook page or even over on Instagram and I'll show you how it all worked out. So, Right. The dancing pans. I had these, uh, I had pans on my stove steaming like this the, this past weekend. My daughter and her boyfriend came over and He's like, it looks like you got something living in that pan. Yeah. Sometimes when it first starts to heat up, it kind of needs to even out a little bit, and then it will stop moving around. And I'm going to do the yellow and the green first.
that yellow and that green is actually the same yellow and the green that I used on the first set of rainbow colors. There's not a whole lot of variance as far as the yellows go, and especially when they're used as a powder. And that green was about the only color green that I wanted. So there you go. But the I'm using a more of a bright pink instead of a red. This orange is a little bit more corally, coral-ish. And then I have a different shade of a blue and a different shade of a purple. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm seeing that that pink color is beautiful, but it's also extremely vibrant. So I don't think we're going to uh, need to use very much of that at all. And I'll probably put that on last when I'm doing the other, the other side of it. didn't look all that orangey to me, so we'll just have to see how it works. You may hear Riley. I've got my back door open since I've got all of these pans going in here just to let the, uh, some of the humidity out. So she's wandering in and out. She has a, a friend who lives behind us. There's a fence in between them and she kind of thinks she'd like to go and play right now, but that's just not going to happen. All right, let's see how this one does. last live I did she jumped up in my lap right up in the middle of the whole thing so I guess this is a better option. Find the girly down that's enough. Okay I'm gonna do this purple.
the first purple I used is a little bit more of a true purple. And that blue I used, it's one of the favorite blues that I have. I don't, it's very rare that I'll just take a color out of the tub and mix it with water and call it a day. I usually will take, you know, two or three of the different blues and to make the kind of blue that I feel like I want to make. And this one blue I use quite a bit as a base color and add on top of it. So I'm not sure how it's going to do by itself. But it's just yarn, so what's the worst thing that can happen? These, with this set of colors, I'm kind of noticing the same, the same thing that we noted on the first round. That the, the very light color may be too light and the very dark color might be too dark. So let me see. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I'm just going to do the orange, the pink, and the purple and see how that goes. All right, I'm going to do the last color of this kind of magenta pink color. might be a winner. All right, so now I'm just going to let these steam for about an hour. Turn that down a little bit.
Well, I'll show it to hot dogs. Okay. So like I said, I'm gonna let that sit for about an hour. Let it cool down. Rinse it out tonight and let it cool, or let it dry rather. And then we'll see how it all turns out. And then I will look at that and see if any of the colors are on them that I like, see if I like any of the colors together, and see if I can come to a decision on what I'm gonna do for this color wear. So I am Good Middle Yarn Co. in all the places. Uh, that's the name of my Facebook page. That's the name of my Instagram handle. And those are those are usually the, I do have Pinterest, but I don't hang out there a whole lot. I'm mainly um, mainly Facebook and, and Instagram. So if you want to go and um, check out either of those places in the morning, I will post an update and show you some pictures and let you know what the plan is going to be next. Anyway, I really appreciate you watching this. And you can let me know in the comments if, first of all, if the whole setup, if it worked for you. And also, if there's anything else that you'd like to see, um, I mean, I could pop on. I die all the dang time. Um, and also, if there's anything, any questions that you have, anything in particular, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I'm a, you know, the, the A1 dyer that knows all of the things because I don't. I just, uh, you know, I've learned a little bit and I just play around with the colors. But, but, you know, I'll try and answer any questions that you have. So, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. I know down here it's sunny and gorgeous, so I'm going to go out onto the back porch. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.